He's so big. Hi, flower friends. I've probably sat down to make this video, or any video for that matter, eight or 10 times, I lost track. Um, but I thought I'd pop on here, it's been a while. And I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update if you've missed it. Um, I'm still here. I'm still working the nursery, I'm still working the flower farm. And unfortunately, Gramps is no longer with us. Um, Two days after I posted my last video, Grandpa passed away. It's still very surreal in my head. Like, not real. Yeah, can I see you, this? Your permission granted to can, come inside. Can I see this new place? Yes, but you gotta watch your step everywhere. Well, I came, really, to do a little work. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I'll show you what I brought to work with. But I'm keeping it together. I'm holding it together. Um, I'm strong and I can do this. Oh, my groove. there I'm we go. I'm ready to go. Just tell me where you want me to sweep. I did post some updates on social media about grandpa and it was a very, very fast thing. I think it was 11 days after he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer that it, we, um, we lost him. Very traumatic. So this is... Oh my God, this is ready to go. Yo, it's ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about it is really hard, which is probably why I haven't been posting a video because Grandpa was such a big part of this experience and this whole entire adventure that we're on. And um, I wanna thank everyone. I've gotten dozens and dozens of beautiful cards in the mail of just condolences. Um, my little softball team that I sponsor here sent me beautiful little cards from four and five year old girls. Um, it's just, it's a lot. It's a huge loss for my family. Who made those cookies? I did. Jessica, <laughs> Jessica made them. Okay, oh, just sweep you gotta down sweep it down. I Go ahead. There are always people in your life that you think will be there forever. And I'm, I know I'm lucky. I know that I was lucky to have my grandfather in my life for as long as I did. I understand that, but it still doesn't make it any easier. And I know he lived a beautiful life, a beautiful life, but it still sucks and it's still hard and it's very um, overwhelming and gut-wrenching, completely and utterly gut-wrenching. And if I'm being honest, I thought once or twice about quitting everything, but I know that's silly and that's the grief. Quitting YouTube, quitting everything, but that's silly. <laughs> that's silly because that's not what grandpa would want me to do. And that's not what I want to do. I just need to get through this. Grandpa would want me to keep doing what I'm doing. Just keep doing it. He was so proud of what we've done here. And he was very much looking forward to what was next. He had so many ideas. He would, you know, the, the green door and, and things like that were a lot of grandpa. There is a lot of grandpa in this building and I see him everywhere here. This might be old, but it's darn sturdy. I'll tell you right now. I think so too. This will last you forever. So I said, that's it, that's enough. Jump back in the saddle. I just lacked motivation, not to do things, but to pick up the camera and talk about it because it's hard to talk about. Look, look, look at my door. Oh my God, it is beautiful. <laughs> it's great, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> now that this video is behind me, I feel like I can come back and bring you the content that I wanna bring you about growing things and loving to grow things and building community and renovating this space. There's so much that I have to tell you guys. It's unbelievable the stuff that we've gone through over the last month, not even including grandpa. That was on top of an already extremely traumatic event and stuff going on. So I will fill you in on that stuff coming up in, um, probably the next video when I, I think I'm just gonna do one big giant update. I've got video for Mother's Day, which was insane here. It was such a great weekend. And guess what? Grandpa got to see that. 
I was honestly terrified over the past eight months or so that my grandpa wasn't gonna make it to my opening. Not that he was sick, but he was 87 years old and, and you never know how long we have our loved ones here. And I just had this recurring nightmare that grandpa wasn't gonna make it, he wasn't gonna make it. So when he made it to my opening, and maybe subconsciously that's why I opened earlier than I normally would. And in the back of my mind, there was something about Memorial Day weekend in the back of my mind the whole entire time. And grandpa did pass on Memorial Day. He loved the holidays. I, I, I think you're, you got it going here, mm -hmm. and I think it's going to keep going. Good. It's fantastic. I'm going to sit in this dirty chair, and I'm going to send you the laundry bill. <laughs> <laughs> we have to, I have to move forward. I have to continue what I'm doing. I mean, the plants don't wait for anybody. I had some really amazing people helping me out. I was here most of the time. Um, but my mother and father-in-law and my aunt and Brad and the kids, they really stepped up and they took care of this place when I couldn't. And um, I owe them a huge debt of gratitude. I mean, I already owed them, right? <laughs> I mean, this is a family affair. Um, so I already owed them. And now it just shows me who is in my corner and who is really going to come to bat for me. And so many of my community members, that's what's, that's what's hard about this too, is that because I'm here, and so many of my customers are also my viewers. Everyone is mourning this loss, everyone. And so we went out, my anniversary was last weekend and we went out to dinner and people were coming up to me in the restaurant offering condolences. And then the restaurant was half an hour away. So I couldn't even like get out of the mind space because everywhere I go, someone is offering condolences and it's a beautiful thing, but it's also, um, I couldn't, I can't get away from it. It's, it's very much grief and it's very thick, so. But the world continues to grow. The plants continue to grow. I have so much to update you guys on and I think I'll be doing that uh, very soon. So I'm sorry for the break. I know you guys understand that I need it. I need it some time. I still need some time, but I really need to get back in the swing of things. I know a lot of you guys know that YouTube is a part of my income and I've basically lost a month of income <laughs> right now between between that but that's okay it is what it is money's money it doesn't matter um, but what was really important was for me to spend time with my family and um, we're really just like surrounding my mom and my grandma and, and all of us we're just surrounding each other with love right now and that's what's important so I have so many plans here that that still include grandpa, that it's gonna be, it's gonna be an emotional journey, that's for sure. But it's gonna be a good one because my grandfather was the kind of guy who found extraordinary things in the mundane. He found normal things beautiful. And he was the kind of person to make you feel like you were the favorite. He has 17 grandkids. All of us insist we were the favorite. I'm the oldest one, so but I'm not if I'm not the favorite, he loved me the longest. <laughs> Once I had a wooden whistle and a wooden whistle. Then I got a steel whistle and it's still wooden whistle. <laughs> so then I got a tin whistle and now I tin whistle. <laughs> hmm? I'm the oldest of 17 grandkids and um all of us think we're the favorite. In fact, uh, for his services, for the reception after the funeral, we all wore shirts that said favorite granddaughter or favorite grandson. And um, that, was, that was how we feel. And that's how he made us feel. He had a very special quality about him to make you just feel loved. I'm not really ready to go through and and look at videos and I can I can hear him talk. I can I can listen to that. That's that's okay. I love you guys. I love you. He was the center of our family and uh, we're going to miss him. That's all. We're just really going to miss him. The you tell me how to go through. Peter Piper. Peter Piper. Peter Piper. Peter Piper. Peter Piper. Peter Piper.
But honestly, I see him in everything that I do. I see him in every flower. I see him in every vegetable. I see him every, I'm, I'm planting peppers and tomatoes the other day and grandpa started all those seeds. I see him in everything, which is really beautiful. It's really beautiful. And I, I know it's an emotional thing and I'm just leaking everywhere. It's the circle of life. And um, sometimes you're not ready for those circles. I just want to tell you, Nicole, I that I never it. thought that I'd ever want to live in a greenhouse. <laughs> but it's so exciting here today, watching all these people enjoying your flowers, that I'm going to probably move into a greenhouse. I told you, you can hang out in the barn in the back. Yeah. I'll put a bed in for you. Gladly. He was an extraordinary person, and I know how he would want me to be. And I really, I just want to exemplify those qualities that he had and that's how I want to be. I want to make people feel special. I want to make them feel loved. I want to make them feel like they're the favorite and um, that's kind of the way that I live my life and um, I definitely got that for my grandpa. So I love you grandpa. He knows. He knows. I kind of talk to him when I water plants. I know he can hear me. Okay. All right. That's enough. Okay, just, we got through it. We got through it. We got through it. Where's the coffee? We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay because guess what? That's what grandpa would want. I feel really lucky that I was able to spend the amount of time with him that I did. I spent so much time with grandpa and we have a lot of memories and, um, and a lot of video. <laughs> so even if my memories fade, I've got video to look back on and a lot of grandpa videos and so do all my cousins. We all have a crazy amount of videos of grandpa just being grandpa, being a goof, um, making up songs and making us laugh. And we all have those videos to look back on. And we were just lucky to have him in our lives. So anyway, guys, I am going to, we open in about 45 minutes. So I'm going to go fix my face <laughs> and get ready to start the day because guess what? We have beautiful flowers. We have beautiful plants and um, we must continue on as grandpa would want us to do. So I've got updates. Uh, my mom's just arrived. Um, I can't even believe how crazy this spring has been. I have updates with the house next door. We've just got a lot going on and I'll fill you in on all of the juicy details in my next video, guys. So thank you guys for all of the condolences and some people were even buying me coffees and stuff like that. I, I really appreciate it. And um, I know you guys loved him too. And he really did. He lit up when we talked about this YouTube channel and he was so excited to be a part of it. He loved reading all the comments. He really, really, it, it gave him <laughs> that extra boost of sparkle that he always had in his eyes. It really did fill him with so much joy these past couple of years. He would get recognized at the grocery store and, and people would come up to him and, and call him grandpa and give him a hug. And he lived for that. He truly did. So thank you guys for making my grandpa feel special. Talk to you soon. I would like to say hello to all your beautiful customers. I read all the remarks that they make after uh, viewing one of your videos, <laughs> and I, I, I'm falling in love with all of them. And I know they like yes, me, but Graham. I don't think they like me as much <laughs> as I like them. He does not read them. I read them <laughs> to him. <laughs> Some... As he's cooking or doing something else, I read him. Yeah, I let her think that she's the first one that reads it to I read the <laughs> But I read them all first. <laughs> Great company. Get him, get him. <laughs> Great people that are viewers. If the ocean was liquor and I was a duck, why well, I'd swim to the bottom and never come up. <laughs> I'm gonna have to tell him that you're charging me to come there now. Oh no. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. They'll be pouring in there. Them customers are going to jam the place.